think about all the people that die because of not having power. I mean, people are dying of heat stroke. Their babies are going without bottles. People are having to leave, leave town just because there's no electricity. Yeah, so Texas has an independent uh, grid, and that independent grid is disconnected from the rest of the U.S. And so what, what happens is that if your system in Texas gets overwhelmed, the whole system fails in Texas. So solar panels actually convert solar energy into electricity. And what happens is that when you grab that electricity and you use it in your home, you're gonna have an excess of it uh, because you're not using all that, that power that's being produced, especially during the peak sun, for example. So what happens is that when you have the excess electricity, you can put it in batteries. That battery is stored there electrochemically. Okay, right now we're next to the power wall, which is on the second floor of the garage. Um, this is where all the energy is stored that comes from the shingles and the roofs. So you can you can store a lot of that energy into this into these batteries and later use them over days. So it could be in between two or three days, even up up to five days that you can you can use them depending on how big the battery is. No, most homeowners here don't own a Tesla, and that's the funny thing about it. You know, they're not big, huge supporters of Elon Musk, a uh, very controversial subject, but he has nothing to do with these homes. But honestly, um, the product itself is, is outstanding. So at the end of 2024, we were seeing that Powerwall 3, um, it dethroned end phase as the most popular battery for the first time in four years. Huge. After the inauguration, we started receiving calls from homeowners. We, hey, don't, don't sell me anything Tesla. Don't give me anything Tesla. I want nothing to do with Elon Musk. What else do you have? 